Welcome to a special Darfur edition of ASAP with all the news you need to know now. I'm Mike. And I'm Maria. Many of you may know the ongoing situation in Darfur, but you may not know the sp- some of the specifics of the conflict. Darfur is a region in western Sudan, and the conflict, which erupted in 2003, stems from ethnic and tribal disputes. The conflict is mainly composed of the Sudanese military and the Janjaweed, a radical militia. The Sudanese government, while publicly denying that it supports the Janjaweed, has provided money and assistance to the militia, and has participated in joint attacks targeting the tribes from which the rebels draw support. The conflict initially started as a result of drought when northern farmers began to migrate further south. However, it has escalated far beyond that, turning into a far-reaching societal war. The United Nations estimates that the conflict has left as many as 500,000 dead from violence and disease. The Sudanese government has been accused of suppressing information by jailing and killing witnesses since 2004 and tampering with evidence to eliminate their forensic value. Now to Colin. The United States, Britain, and the European Union have repeatedly condemned the atrocities but have failed to carry out any of their numerous threats. None of the resolutions passed by the Security Council regarding Darfur have been implemented. However, on July 14th, prosecutors at the International Criminal Court filed 10 charges of war crimes against Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir. Now back to Mike and Maria. 